Hello everybody, my name is Nyan, I'm the Black Female Engineer, I provide content for new and aspiring software engineers and today it's been a solid one year since I graduated from Flatiron School, which is bananas. It is quite absurd, quite rude. And so I wanted to do a one year reflection. I remember when I was trying to pick coding the boot camps and see, okay, what do people have to say about these boot camps and everything? I really relied on videos like this to help steer me in the right direction. And so it's quite the honor that I get to do one for you all now and so yes let's get to it so really the largest question that is probably on your mind is whether or not i got a job afterwards and the answer is yes i work with homeboy right over there if you see that that's Shrek. i work at dreamworks animation studios i'm a software engineer there and i've been working there for about three months now but if you do the math three months ago was summer of 2021 i graduated october of 2020 and so where that time what, what was going on so i graduated october of 2020 and got my job like a year out so i got a job in october and it wasn't set to start until the following summer which was summer of 2021 that being said i did have other offers that were starting sooner my first offer i got the day of my bootcamp graduation there's a couple of offers happening more throughout that same month and so i just happened to choose the job that was the most far out because it was the one that excited me the most but in between that time i did do other development work i did some ux ui testing i did some commerce cloud development and whatnot and so overall I don't see it as like oh it took a year to start working after boot camp I don't see it like that because it was a choice I could have chosen to start working immediately after if I had chosen a different company a different offer so yes I have been working for three months now and I feel like the next question that should be on people's minds I don't know if it is but to me this is the next question is if boot camp well prepared me prepared me well for my job if i feel like i was well prepared well versed in languages and set up for success and for me part of, let me let me say that as well this is all just me don't be out here like nothing i'm saying is bible okay this is all just me and for me yes yes it very much did and here is why this i think is a more unique situation i'm in so i work at dreamworks and my task for the last you know three to two to three months has been really just overhauling a web app that had been created before i got there but it was pretty more bare bones so my task has been building it up more adding more features to it, adding more processes to it completely redesigning it from like the ground up and everything and so because of that that's a lot of what we did at Flatiron. We would, every three to four weeks, create web apps from scratch and completely learn new languages, use the skills and functions and whatnot we learned during classes to build these web apps from the ground up. And that's what I'm doing right now. And especially when you think about the piece of not knowing languages until like six hours before and now you're trying to build a web app with that language that's really the situation i'm in we at my work or at least in my specific project i'm using python and flask which is a python micro framework and i have never touched those languages before oh that's a lie i had touched python before but it didn't really go out too well and in boot camp we focus on javascript so i had touched it before but i had never actually developed or coded with it and so i was very scared coming into my first day knowing okay so they expect python how do i how do i do this but it was really funny because it took me maybe i don't even know an hour to pick up python because it is very similar to javascript and you, i don't know if you all hear that thing of just know one language really well and you are way more set up for success rather than knowing just a tiny bit of a bunch of different languages and so with bootcamp we knew like one to two languages really well in learning we had started with vanilla javascript and moved on to react and we knew ruby as a backend and so come time for work and 
I, I I was able to really hit the ground running because the logic is pretty much the same. And so for me, it set me up super well for the current project I'm in right now because it really is building kind of from the ground up, which is what we did constantly at Bootcamp. Now that being said, where it didn't set me up so well was in understanding other people's code or knowing how to start on a project that's already been there because that's why i say i'm in a unique situation where my first project is kind of doing this whole thing from the ground up where most people they're the new person but the code has been there and it'll keep being there no matter if that person's there or not and so there ends up being this problem where it's okay how do i come in here in chapter 12 season 5 as a new character and make meaningful contributions to all of this and so that's where i feel like they didn't prep so well because truly thinking back everything we did was from the ground up nothing was based on already existing code and so if you want that experience it's really on you to ask like okay who wants to either like pair program or practice by hopping onto open source and contributing that way because those people the projects have been there and you're new so it's a good way to kind of dabble a bit without fearing that you're going to lose your job over it and so you really have to make that effort on your own to get that practice and so that's where i feel like I'm not as well versed in. And so it really does take the support of your team to help you through that process now of, okay, this is the code base. This is what they've been working on. This is what the code looks like. That's another thing, reading other people's code. Not very much prep in that. Again, it goes back to you yourself being like, okay, I'm going to take time to pair programs so I can see how other people code or have these partners or study groups or and whatnot and to try to read other people's code so that I can practice that later on. Because code, I think some people kind of think that like, oh, code is code. If you know how to read code, it's like reading words, you know, like a word is a word no matter what book it's in. But with coding, that's not really how it goes. There's a billion and one ways to code out the exact same solution. And your way of thinking and your way of processing and your way of solving a solution could be so different from another person's, even though it completes the exact same problem. And so you need to be able to switch your brain so that you can understand and interpret other people's code so you can get the job done. And so with that, I highly recommend taking that time on your own, taking the initiative on your own to seek out those opportunities to read and learn from other people's code. Overall, I absolutely love where I am. I'm so, so grateful for that and for Flatiron School and my teachers and mentors and cohort mates and co-workers, if y'all are watching this. <laughs> um, I am just so grateful for where I am. I'm so grateful that to, I'm so grateful to myself for being brave enough to take the leap of a coding bootcamp in a time where it seems like the craziest of ideas um, just to me. And I am really happy of where I am. And so this is not an advertisement to Flatiron School or coding bootcamps at all. This is not sponsored. I just want to do some, yeah, reflecting because it's been a year and it's been a hell of a year at times. And I am really proud of have what this year and the time at boot camp has brought on and so i really wanted to share that and provide that perspective to you all and so yeah think about if coding boot camp is right for you i have tons of videos on that so feel free to browse through my channel ask me any questions you like and i'll get back to you as soon as i can but yes thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all later bye